Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Chatting with Chops. My name is Karen and I try and make fun and entertaining videos that might teach you something. Today we're going to do another one of our Can We Make It Vegan recipes. This one is peanut butter oatmeal bars and I, I'm pretty confident on this one. There is milk, butter, and eggs in it as usual, but we're going to try and not only make this one vegan, but maybe a little bit healthier than the recipe starts out to be. So I'm going to take you along for the ride and see what happens. Let's get started. So the first things they've asked you to do is grease a 13 by 9 baking pan, which we've already done. And then it has asked you to combine flour, oats, soda, and salt. And so basically what I've done is I've used um, wheat flour to make this recipe a little bit healthier. The oats, soda, and if you've watched any of my previous baking videos, I don't ever use salt in my recipes unless it's for bread. So we've mixed that together. Then it's asked for us to beat the butter for 30 seconds. And I have done that already. And of course I've used plant-based butter. Um, the only thing I've really noticed between the butters is plant-based butter seems to be a little bit softer. It's a little bit easier to use in my opinion. So now what they've asked us to do is add both of the sugars and beat until fluffy. So what I'm going to be using, um, it asked for uh, brown sugar and regular granulated sugar. But of course, since I'm trying to make this recipe a little bit healthier, we're going to use stevia instead, which is a leaf extract. And let's see, it's asking for a half a cup of granulated sugar. So again, that's still the same equivalent of regular sugar. So that's a half a cup of that. And then a half a cup of brown sugar. So I'm gonna put that in. All right, and now it's asked us to beat that until it is fluffy. So let's get that started. All right, now is when you're supposed to add in your egg and a third of a cup peanut butter. And of course, since we're making this vegan, we do not make it with eggs. So we're using a Mott's little no sugar added applesauce. These little cups normally uh, are the equivalent of two eggs, but I like to just use them even when it's asked for one egg, but that way it kind of helps everything taste a little bit more moist. Put that in there. Okay. And then it's asking for a third of a cup of peanut butter. Put that in. You want to get it all. Okay. And then it asks for a fourth of a cup of milk. I don't, we're using almond milk since it is again a vegan recipe and then it asks for the vanilla and it wants half a teaspoon of vanilla I can find my half <laughs> And then you're just supposed to beat that very well. All right, we've got all of the wet ingredients put together. Now it's asking us to add the dry ingredients, which again, this was wheat flour, oatmeal, and baking soda. So we're gonna start adding that in. Put that down. The last step before it goes into the oven is we just want to make sure 
that everything got mixed in all the way. These KitchenAid mixers are fantastic, but sometimes there'll be a tiny bit at the bottom that just won't get mixed in. So I always like to take a extra little swirl to make sure it's all in. And then you're supposed to spread this into your 13 by nine greased pan. We're gonna get all of that out. Okay. And then just take that and spread that out evenly. You could use a smaller pan. That way it would make the bars a little bit thicker, but obviously you'd have to adjust your baking time too. All right, and now we're gonna put this in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 20 minutes. And we'll see how they turn out. All right, so the recipe doesn't tell you a whole lot. They just tell you to cook it for, you know, 15 to 20 minutes in a 350 degree Fahrenheit oven. I like to wait until mine has the brown around the edges a little bit and then um, when you put a toothpick in the middle that it comes out dry. So the next thing you're supposed to do is put baking chips, one cup of baking chips on the top and let them start melting. So just spread those around. Try to get them a little bit even. They're, whew, they're already starting to melt. And what we like to use is lilies. They are, um, they're, they're usually always, there's a couple of her flavors that are not vegan, but the, when the package is clearly marked, that always makes me feel a whole lot better. So um, no sugar added, and these are dark chocolate baking chips with the stevia as well. So these are the kind that we really like. And no, I'm not sponsored by her, but um, her company, but I, I really like them and hopefully one of these days maybe I will be. So we're just letting those melt and then you're supposed to let them, you know, kind of soften a little bit so that you can spread it around. Some of them might be, yep. And again, I don't know with them being vegan baking chips if they're going to spread as much as like a regular baking, chocolate baking chip would, but you know, that's why we're kind of, you know, watching and waiting and seeing what happens. These over here look like they're doing really good, so. And it's not supposed to be really something that's covered. It's just supposed to be kind of a nice sprinkling of chocolate on the top. Okay guys, so we had a fail on this recipe. Um, it looked really great, looked fabulous, but once you've been into it, it was really bad. I think what I have found with this particular recipe, you can make a lot of different recipes vegan, but sometimes um, you have to remember that baking is a science and there is a lot that goes into it of all the, the fats and the proteins and the different you know liquids and everything that you use. Sometimes you just, you mess with the recipe too much and it just can't handle it. And if you'll remember from the ingredients that I was listing off on this one, I changed it from regular flour to wheat flour. We used stevia instead of regular sugar. I left the salt out. We changed vegan chocolate, um, the regular chocolate to the vegan chocolate, and we used plant-based butter instead of regular butter. Sometimes if you just have that many things that you're changing on a recipe, the recipe just does not, is not able to handle it. So... I just thought I'd come on here and let you know this one is a fail. I'm not going to recommend that you do this one. I will not be posting the recipe down in the description box, but please continue to um, watch my videos and like and subscribe. And I hope you've enjoyed this video, even though it did not turn out as a good recipe. So I'll see y'all on the next bake.